My name is Martin McCullough. Uh, I'm the program manager for uh, an association in France, which is called uh, l'Association e de de Bleu. Uh, and this association, which is a quite small structure, uh, has been set in place uh, nearly 10 years ago now, uh, specifically for the development and exploitation of interactive multimedia tools on the internet uh, applied to domains of environment, territory, and sustainable development. Uh, the uh, association, the Planet Blue, uh, is the partner number three in the award project, and we have the responsibility, it's our specific contribution, uh, for the creation and the uh, demonstration and then the deployment uh, of a quite complex system uh, of multimedia development uh, on internet which is referred to in the modern language as a digital twin and what this means is that we are making a type of representation of what goes on in the project which also means what goes on in the territories with water uh, and development and human activity and ecosystems and we have a representation of all that which is a bit like a whole set of rooms in a house. Each room has got different components to it. Each room allows us to do different things. So there's a bathroom, and there's a kitchen, and there's a living room, and so on. And the partners of the project, progressively, they can contribute objects into these uh, spaces. And these objects themselves can be exploited in different ways to make maps, uh, to build evaluation exercises, and to communicate information about the different case studies and so on. So our job is to make the digital or virtual representation of what goes on in the project. A complicated question in fact, because I would say that the, the first challenge that we have to, to confront is how do we make a representation in a virtual reality environment, in a digital environment, these days we talk about it, cyberspace or something like that, how do we make a representation which is relatively simple, which is accessible and intuitively easy to understand, and which also allows people to do interesting things. So our, our ideal is to have something which is almost like a video game. People can come into it and play. It's not quite a serious game, but it's something where each time that someone comes into the system, meaning into the virtual reality, uh, they have got something to see, but also potentially something to do, and they are thinking about what they do as providing useful information, useful objects that other people are also going to use. How can we do that in a short period of time dealing with very complicated territory, reality, people, stakeholders, and all of that with a small budget of only a few hundred thousand euros? This is a big challenge.